Hi, I'm Pat Egan with the Tricia Egan Consulting and we're makers of Atom Wizards for Sage Act. And today I'm going to show you Duplicate Remover Expert. When you have duplicates in Act, you have an ability to remove them by going into Tools, Copy, Move, Contact Data, and remove contacts two at a time. However, you could have several hundreds or possibly even thousands of duplicates in your database. And this is why we created our Duplicate Remover Expert. It runs outside of ACT, but I keep ACT open because of a feature that we've put in our product that allows you to dedupe a group. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the little program. This is what it looks like. The first thing it's going to ask is for the name of the database. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the demo database here. I will log on. The next thing it's going to do is then ask for you to do a backup. I have just recently done a backup, so I'm not going to need to do that at this time, but I advise you to do that because whenever you delete contacts, it is destructive. There's no ways to get them back, so a backup is a shrewd thing to do. I'm going to click Next. I can then either dedupe contacts or companies, and I can also dedupe all contacts or a group, which I will talk about a bit later. You can also dedupe on up to six fields. A lot of times the, the standard fields of company, contact, and phone are not enough to identify the duplicates that are in your database. You may not even have company fields filled in. You can do up to six, and we suggest running multiple passes through ACT to find all the various duplicates that can be out there. If you're a financial planner, for example, and deal with contacts and have very few company fields filled in, you can check this box to exclude company field. Also, we have this thing called fuzzy matching, and I'm going to check that for contacts. That means things like Will and William and Daniel and Danny could show up as possible duplicates because the first letter is the same. William and Bill will not show up, but Will and William will. Clicking Next, I now see I can choose either the most recently modified record, which is the default, or the least recently modified. On the second selection, I can choose that if data is going to be lost, in other words, I have two fields that both have data that is different, the losing records data will be copied to the winning record as a note. I can also change and select what gets copied over when the copies are and contacts are merged. I've just gone ahead and clicked Next. I have 43 duplicates in my database. I'm going to go Next. It gives me a list of the duplicates it found. I can actually go through and right-click and exclude them. Or if I want, I can save it as a group in ACT, which I'm going to do right now. That happens instantly, which is why I kept ACT open. I can come over here to Groups. I can click on uh, Dupes here, which I mistyped. I can do a look up my contacts here, and if I'm happy with the way they look, I can go back into ACT, my little duplicate remover here, move back, and dedupe that group instead. So I can go in passes and not try to do everything all at once. So I can search for company contact and phone. I may want to do first name and last name next time. Once I say next, and I'm happy with this, it goes through the process of removing all of the duplicates. While we're waiting, my product costs $149.99. You can see uh, more information about it on our website, www.egen, that's E-G-E-N, consulting.com. Again, it's $149.99. It is licensed to the machine. It is not licensed to the database. So if you have more than one database, for example, on a server, you would just need to have one copy running on a computer, and it would dedupe all of the different databases. When it's done, I get a listing of the contacts that it found, which I can then save as a report for later. And that is all there is to our little duplicate remover, $149.99. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.